Now here's a harder example where we have to find the length of a loop, or at least we're told that this is a loop. And maybe if you plot points or use use a calculator or something, uh, this should have some some shape like this. And sort of what's going on when t is negative square root of 3, x is, let's see, x is 0 and y is 9, so that's this point. But when t is positive square root 3, we're also at that point. Um, you go through the calculation, you'll see that x is 0 and, and y is 9 again. I guess when t is 0, we're at the point 0, 0. So it makes this loop. So we're really finding the arc length as t goes from negative square root 3 to square root 3. So we use the formula. So I have the derivative of x squared, that's 3 minus 3t three squared squared, plus the derivative of y squared, which will be 6t squared and if we multiply everything out we get this and we have a negative 18 plus a 36 which gives us a positive 18 t squared and Sort of just like before, we get something really nice here. Because, well, first of all, I can factor out 9. And this part's a perfect square. So I have 9 times 1 plus t squared squared. So let me put that in here. So that's what we have, and after we take the square root, uh, we're really just computing this, and this is no problem. We have 3t plus 3t cubed over 3 from negative root 3 to root 3 so you have 3 square root 3 plus 3 square root 3 that's t cubed minus what we get over here We get that, and we have a negative sign all through here. So it's really just two of these. And, well, there's two of those, so. So we get 12 root 3.